This is Damon Stevens with Finwell Pillars. Today is Thursday, August 25th, 2022. The stock market update for our trades of the day. What a day it was. Boy, nice little rally at the end. So hopefully you're able to grab a piece of that. Um, and uh, we had a nice bounce right off support. Today was pretty critical to see if we were going to break through and start to head to lows or if the bulls were going to come back in and uh, save this little bull run we've had. And that's exactly what happened. So hopefully we can keep that. Uh, we have Jerome Powell speaking tomorrow morning. We're going to talk a bit more about that, but uh, we uh, that's before the open. So just be real careful tomorrow. Make sure we, you see what's opening up um, after he speaks, 8 o'clock Eastern time. And that way we can kind of prep for the day, kind of know which direction we're going. Whether, you know, what he says is going to be good and allow us to rally or it's going to be bad news and uh, bring the market back down into uh, to lows again. So let's uh, pay attention, see what's going on, and let's get into some of these charts and take a look at how the day went. So looking at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones closed up 0.98% net, stack up 1.67%, and S&P 500 up 1.41%. Exactly what we want to see here. Uh, not only did we hit the bounce, uh, you know, it was a little choppy this morning, but, you know, we bounced off the support a couple of times uh, and then uh, allowed to run at the end of the day. Uh, to uh, up to the highs here. So that was great to see. Uh, looking at here, you can see across the board, you know, generally overall money was flowing in. Now, interesting enough though, Tesla was down. Tesla had a three for one split uh, last night. And uh, this morning, the stock opened up kind of higher. Uh, surprise, you know, the equivalent was uh, over uh, $909, uh, which I thought, well, maybe it's going to break out uh, or it's got a whole different eva valuation now valuation to the stock because of the split but no it came down it uh, it dropped and so we'll see where it kind of settles down here but uh you know it's going to take a little bit to probably get these uh to get the new charts kind of running here and and understand what the support and resistance levels are going to be for tesla going forward looking at the uh overall uh scanner here you can see kp uh, our X, uh, you know, hit 95%, but high volume, but, you know, 25 cents, just something I'm not going to trade. Drug still on the list here. Uh, it's been here since last week. Uh, that uh, continue to do well here and give opportunities. Let's kind of get to look at some other charts here. We're going to earnings here. You can see today was a big day at Peloton, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Burlington, uh, Affirm, Alta, Dell, Gap, Workday. Uh, and for the most part, a lot of them were down. Uh, so uh, a little bit of a challenge here. Uh, Workday for me was the best um, after hours. So definitely be watching that as well. And we'll try to cover some of that for you. Uh, and then we have a solar company tomorrow, Jinko, uh, that we'll be watching. But other than that, really, it's looking at the overall market, see how it's going to react to Jerome's uh, talk um, as they're uh, wrapping up in Jackson Hole. Uh, but Palo Alto continued to climb up today. You can see uh, hitting uh, new highs again. Uh, so Pal Pan W is still holding up there. Uh, at some point, we should probably pull back a little bit here, but, you know, it's still, uh, still strong today. Snow just, uh, you know, continues to rocket. I mean, after earnings, you know, I thought it was, you know, big enough here to jump 30 bucks, but now, you know, just continue to climb higher and higher today. So we'll see if we have a little bit of a pullback maybe for Friday. But this uh, is a beast today. Snow is just killing it. Uh, NetApp had this bump up. We talked about, you know, possibly retracing a little bit, and that's exactly what happened in the morning. We retraced back down here, uh, down to 77. I thought maybe we'd come a little bit lower down to this trend line, but we, you know, we came close enough. 76, 77, so uh, close enough to the number. Uh, and then we kind of, you know, went flat for the day and then kind of pulled up here. Uh, so we'll see if we, you know, maybe get back up to 80 tomorrow. Uh, you know, the top of our, you know, trend line here is 79, really. So maybe 79 and maybe we just kind of flatten out. Apple, nice little rally up here. It's above this whole candle here, which I like. It's in the gap. Uh, hope we can get a gap fill. If we can go from 170 back up to, you know, 171.50, we can fill that gap and, and have a nice strong close of the week. Uh, if the news is good. If not, we could become range bound in here. And I'm going to move these lines down here uh, just so that we can kind of watch them for the breakout. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if we become range bound in this direction or if we break out above 170. I get a little bit of a run here on uh, Apple. Chipotle kind of in this range right now still. 
between this support line and the support line uh, and the resistance line. So we'll see if we stay range bound. We've got to break out this 166, uh, 1663 uh, or break down below 1631 on a short. Tesla kind of rallied up, you know, like again, like we talked about, and then pulled back here. We kind of tagged the two, uh, 20 day moving average. And sitting here kind of right, right in the middle, right on the top of this candle here and between this candle. So really kind of looking tomorrow to see, you know, do we break above one uh, 296 or do we break below 296 uh, to come back down? So uh, definitely Tesla closed out uh, below yesterday's close. So I'm um, looking to see if we can, you know, get some momentum going tomorrow. Uh, Microsoft also pulling down. She also showed a lot of weakness, came down, tagged the 50 and, and we got below the 100, but pulled back up here just sitting on the, two, the 200 day. So at least it recovered. We'll see if it has any more out of it, but uh, at least it, it to recover and, and fill the so that gap we had. Amazon, see here that it pulled down here, found support off this 100, bouncing off there. So back above the 20 day, so that's good. I just, if we can just break above the, the, the 200 day moving average, that would be ideal. NVIDIA, you see NVIDIA. A nice, nice run rally today. I mean, it was it sold off pretty good. I mean, it uh, uh, after earnings and some of the bad news, and it just like totally recovered. So just Nvidia was just a beast again today. I, you know, it just continues to do well. Um, you know, and you can see here, this was our lows. We're kind of chopped here, and I thought, well, maybe if we break this trend line, we were right down uh, close to it. If we broke this uh, this line right here, one sixty seven, you know. Then you kind of broke all of these uh, ups and downs here, and you're going to come a lot lower. And luckily, we had a, not only uh, a bounce, but a nice run. Uh, so that's uh, that's good. So Google, nice run as well. We'll bounce off the support here. Nice run up here to fill, just, you know, just about all the gap here. So that was good. So we'll see if we, you know, if we fill the gap here, do we come back down or, you know, or, or what are we going to do next? We're going to keep on running up here. So we'll see if we need to break out above this 116.70 if we want to do that. Uh, you know, the stocks above the 50 day and the 50 uh, SP 500, uh, we came here and we tagged below this uh, support line that I talked about in our video last night, uh, but bounced up above it and closed above it. So that's good. Uh, you know, we, we were getting back down here again, talked about, you know, every time we come here, we kind of pull back, had a nice pullback, but. We had a nice recovery today, so we'll, maybe we'll make a you know history here with the different lines. Uh, the ten-year yield uh, pulled back; that's good for the market, so that was good. A two-year yield pulled back as well, so that's where you're kind of seeing the market uh, reacting in a positive manner. Dollar pulled back as well, um, and uh, but it closed up a little bit. So uh, all these are good indicators for helping the market go, and of course, gold responds positively when the dollar's uh, down. And you can see here that we're back, back up to the 20 day moving average. So we'll see if we can break out of there. Uh, US uh, oil. So US oil, you can see here pulled back here. It's uh, you know, right here at the 50 day moving average. So a little show of weakness. We'll see if it can hold the VIX. Uh, pull, pull back below that 20 day moving average. So this is good. That's what we want to see. See if we can get some fall through tomorrow on, on the VIX weekly chart. In, but you still see it's above the 200-day the two moving average on a weekly chart. Just buy on a daily. See here, nice little rally up here, right off of our support line. So it came down, tagged it, which is where this candle was, and this candle, and this grouping all over here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six candles over there, uh, and uh, one, two, three candles here. And so we, we were able to at least rally it back up here, and we're just close on the high. Uh, in the gap. So I like that. So I hope we can go up maybe to this 425 and fill this other gap tomorrow. Uh, if so, then we might have a pullback after that, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but looking for, you know, continuation play tomorrow, uh, depending on how the Jerome discussion goes. On a weekly, closing it inside this candle. That's what we wanted. Let's close inside this candle so we've got some strength to, to move out. Triple Qs. The same thing here. You've seen this little pullback here, but we want to make sure that we have strength uh, in and we continue to rally here. And we did have a nice little bounce above the 20 day moving average. So, see if we can keep that up on triple Qs. Semiconductors, nice rally off their support as well. 
got back above the 20 and the 100, very strong for the semiconductors. IWM, very strong as well. Pulled back up here, right, uh, you know, basically created a gap along the way, but, you know, a nice strong rally back up here towards, uh, towards highs. Financial sector pulling up as well, back above the, the 100 here and the 20 day. Uh, so showing some strength there. Uh, healthcare, nice little rally up here, kind of, you know, mostly flat and still, um, you know, above the 200 day, still below the 50. So let's see if we can, you know, bounce off this area. So a little bit weak on the, on the healthcare side. Energy sector continues to go strong. Uh, right here, it's right here on the top of this candle. So if we break, you know, above this 83.65 area, next candle up is, uh, you know, 83, this one right here, 83.68. So we'll see if we can get there and bust through that, move to new highs. Bitcoin still sitting on our trend line here, just continues to consolidate here. That's typically a bear flag to drop down, but we'll see right now so far it's holding the line. So that's good. Uh, Ethereum. Uh, you know, it's not holding the line it, it, per se, but it's um, definitely trying to work its way back above the 20, 20 days. So you see some effort there in Ethereum to try to kind of rally up here and move off the, the, the support line there. So that's our stocks, our cryptos, things that we're looking at tomorrow. Uh, you know, as we're going to Friday, just play it safe. Make sure make sure you watch the VIX. Make sure you, you see what uh, Jerome says in the morning, 8 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, then we'll bring some, uh, you know, updates to you on Sunday, get you prepped for the next week. Uh, everybody have a great uh, weekend coming up and stay safe tomorrow. Uh, and uh, just make sure you only carry over through the weekend uh, if you know uh, the market's most likely to go in your direction. Uh, everybody have a great night.